on me promise that you never be lonely what is going on guys welcome to today's video so today guys i'm gonna take you guys through my typical arms and days shoulders workout uh so we're currently uh, bulking right now so obviously uh, eating a high amount of food so basically guys uh, this morning I just had a pancake uh, 60 grams of my protein chocolate flavored pancake mix with 300 mill milliliters of milk so I've just had that uh, about to go make some pre-workout on BCAA then I'm gonna drink that and then as I'm drinking that I'm gonna get ready to hit the gym and then uh, I'm gonna try and do this video a bit different guys if it doesn't turn out the way I want to then it'll probably just be a commentary but if it does, I'm going to try and like commentate it whilst I'm doing it, if that makes sense, guys. So then that way, um, you guys are kind of getting my tips whilst I'm doing the movements, that makes sense. Because I feel like it's a lot easier to kind of show you guys how to improve like your compound movements and other movements, etc. With arms and shoulders. So anyway, with that said, let's go make some pre-workout. Alright guys, so I've got a scoop of the My Protein pre-workout, My Pre. Uh, explosive pre-workout, uh, blue raspberry flavoured. Alright, now just about to add the water to it. We've also got watermelon uh, USN BCAA. Now you might be wondering guys, why the hell is the tub white? Well that's because USN, I mean, I don't know what you're playing at, but all I'm saying is the wrapping on that is stupid because you don't even know which BCAA it is like. Last time I did write on it, but I've kind of just realised to look at the powder and you'll be able to tell basically because like, this powder's red, well kind of red, it's pinky. And then the cloud on me is kind of white and then the blue raspberry one was kind of blue so basically if you just look at the powder colour that's saying which one's which so that's why I kind of gave up on writing USA blue raspberry flavoured free workout plus I mean, it's obvious with the USA number one Alright guys so basically we're going to do the first thing we're doing is a um, standard shoulder press so basically it just works the whole deltoid it isolates the deltoid basically and um, yeah basically shoulder guys the number name for that is deltoid so basically you've got your front deltoid your rear deltoid rear deltoid sorry then your uh, side deltoid and basically the shoulder press isolates all these at the same time so that's what the first thing we're doing is just to get the shoulders warmed up so um probably my deload split right now so that's why we are going to do no weight 2.5 weight and then 5 kg probably. That's roughly where we're going to stay. We're not going to move. Probably the highest we'll go to is 10 kg, but that's about it. So, uh, yeah. So, normal item, guys, basically, it's kind of like in a uh, lunging position. Crack the bar on the uh, two wires, like a circle bar. Unless you can get up, guys, squeeze your bum. The reason why you squeeze your butt guys is because that way it allows you to tense your core at the same time so you're kind of working your abs at the same time but as well as that it's um, able to power through the movement so instead of going normally if you're doing it you're kind of swaying back and forth because um, of the weight but then if you're tensing your glutes it's working your legs as well but uh, basically that's just keeping yourself still in the fixing movement so that way you'll just power up down power up down power up down and yes that's our first movement all right guys the next movement we're moving on to is our lateral raises so I'm going to use 6 kg dumbbells because I don't feel like it is necessary to go on much raises because I'm really just purely focusing on the uh, uh, side delt, not the rear of the front, it's more focused on that. You can end up going to a state where you won't work in the front delt more than the side delt, but you should relatively be using the um, work working the side delt. So basically, what I do guys is feet straight, back straight, throw your shoulders a bit of that, then you're on the side, not much, like it should be going. Now, obviously, guys, you can obviously use heavy weight on lateral raises, but Sometimes, often guys, when people use heavy weight on lateral raises, it more ends up working front delt and your form basically starts to break down. So it's best to just use the lightweight, focus on the rep range, so the volume range, rather than weight. Because it's, no, it's more of an isolation movement, you're more isolating the shoulder rather than a compound movement where you're basically working more of the muscle groups, you're just more, pretty much purely working these shoulders. 
Right, okay guys, so basically next thing we are going to now is shoulder press. So basically on the shoulder press guys, I like to put it bench to the top set, so basically your back is um, flat on it and means that basically your back stays in structure whilst doing the movement. So the, all the focus is going straight to the front deltoid. So um, yeah, all right, let's get into it guys. So I think we dumbbells, no one's put them there. And then, we are getting the dumbbells up guys so that you're not causing injuries, just kind of like throw yourself up but obviously let's got this on the top set, it needs your back so you're going to like go anywhere that makes it just go to the same position so see just like that guys, the punch position, your wrist straight, don't have them bend over or bend back because that's not going to affect the movement because the focus to move from that front deltoid to the mid deltoid so basically what you want to do is just like this, up, down, up, down, up. Alright guys, so next move we're moving on to is now tricep pull down. So basically guys, this is more of an isolation movement on the tricep more than a compoundish kind of movement. You're working only more or less the tricep, slight bit of chest I suppose, but that's more or less what you're doing. So basically guys, what I like to do is when I'm doing it, is stay in stationary here, push your bum out, chest up, stay stationary here, and then as you're doing it, you come down, squeeze it out. Basically with the rope guys, normally what you do is you twist out, and that basically uh, tenses up the tricep, so basically you're in a position where the tricep uh, muscle is being contracted and then it's all the bar, same thing pretty much, same principle. Just holding the bar like that and as you come down, going down, contracting the tricep, back up, down, just the tricep, back up. And that's basically what we're going to do here now. So Alright guys, so next move we're moving on to now is bicep curls or dumbbells. So basically, there's a lot of variations with this guys. I've learned lots of methods. Like one, the first method I learned was off Christian Guzman, then I also learned some off Lex Fitness and Scott Herman, Matt Olmos, people like that. Uh, basically, what my my personal preference for bicep curls, guys, is uh, keep your posture straight, arms out like this, flexing your triceps like arm all the way back, and then up like that. Try to do too much elbow movement because a lot of people when they're doing it, they often like kind of throw their arms up just like throwing a ball but it's not like that guys you gotta keep straight and that's how you do it and that's how you're gonna get the best the best muscle contraction on your bicep guys if you just follow it where you keep your arms bent down as far as you can basically flexing your tricep and then up down up down like yeah I'll show you guys now Guys, not much movement on the elbows. The elbows like locked in place, arms are tucked in, just coming up with the dumbbells. Okay, guys, last exercise this workout we are doing the easy bar uh, for bicep curls. So basically, there's, many there's not many variations, but there's two different grips that you really have in it. So, we'll say the wide kind of uh, wrist turned out kind of grip, you've also got the wrist turned in kind of pull some grip. Now see these two variations of these grips guys do different things. So basically the grip the pulse grip one that normally works for like adding size to the bicep so making it more round and kind of like hard that makes sense. And then, like, whereas the wider grip works on kind of like the length of the bicep that makes sense guys. So basically it's best to kind of like even these out so like you're gonna do a close grip, do two sets of close grips, say for example, do two sets of wide, and if you're going to do two sets of three, um, two sets, three sets of close grip, do three sets of wide, it's often good to even out because then that way you're not having either a long bicep that's dead small or a big bicep that's dead just kind of in a ball, if you know what I mean, guys. So that's what my personal preference for this movement, but yeah, so as I'll just show you guys now. So wide grip. Alright guys, so I've just finished editing up the clips from before that you've just literally just seen then of the arm and shoulders workout and um, I, I noticed that the audio isn't great on it, you can't really hear me very well so uh, I know I'm always saying sorry on this channel guys but um, it's just that I have sometimes got anxiety with making videos sometimes but I'm just going to say I apologise for the, uh, the bad audio quality. I tried to edit it as much as I can to make sure that you guys could hear me but uh, yeah, 
next time i'll make sure that you guys actually do hear me if i ever do a walking commentary thing but just comment down below if it helped or not and uh, if you guys want more of that let me know and just yeah literally let me know what video guys um videos you guys want and i'll make them so with that said this is the end of the video now guys so i hope you guys have enjoyed see you guys in the next one peace I